Today, I will talk about action photography. As its self-explanatory name indicates, it is a genre that aims at capturing fast-moving subjects and then freezing the motions. In the next few minutes, I will share with you my practical experience and the most essential tips. The number one rule is accurate focusing, that is, your photo subject must be in focus. As you can imagine, since the photo subjects are moving at high speed constantly, you don't have time basically to think about photo composition. Therefore, I will say, if you can focus your subject accurately and place it at the center, it is already good enough. As for camera setting, we usually use shutter priority for action photography. Just like here, I am using 1/1000s or even faster to capture the objects at high speed. Also, you should use continuous shooting mode to shoot sports. Regarding aperture, better don't use one shot, use AI servo or AI focus instead. As for me, I have chosen AI servo this time. I would say, there is no absolute nor fixed shutter speed for sports photography. It all depends on your photo subjects. For example, for sports that are really fast, such as racing cars which I shot some time ago, I needed to use a shutter speed of 1/2000s or above. For ball games, the shutter speed could be relatively slower. As you can see, experience is all you need for making the sound judgment. But a good rule of thumb is to use a shutter speed of 1/1000s or above. Moreover, please take note of the motion curves of different types of sports. The shutter speeds for subjects moving horizontally and moving towards you vary. A faster shutter speed is required for the former. In short, you have to accumulate more practical experience by shooting more sporting events so that you can master the shutter speeds required at different occasions. As for gear, telephoto lens with a focal length of 200mm or above is a must-have. As a principle, lens with focal length ranged from 200mm to 800mm are very often to be used in sports photography.